The Golden Ears Trail is an expert 22-kilometer round-trip hike that takes you from the base of Golden Ears Provincial Park up 1,800 meters to the summit of Golden Ears in one to two days return. The best time of year to attempt this hike is from June to early October, as snow will be present outside of this period. Snow along this trail adds many additional hazards, including avalanches, icy slopes, unstable cornices, and buried trail markers. Therefore, due to these increased risks, BC Parks does not recommend you hike this trail in the winter or early spring unless you have the necessary skills, equipment, and knowledge to travel through snow and avalanche terrain. Avalanche forecasts can be found at avalanche.ca. As with every hike, make sure you carry the essentials, which includes packing warm and waterproof clothing, a good pair of hiking boots, a headlamp, and extra food and water. If you are attempting this trail in spring and early summer, we recommend carrying micro spikes. Also, with limited phone reception on this trail, we suggest you bring an emergency communication device. Always check the local Golden Ears weather forecast before heading off. It's important to remember that you will be venturing deep into the backcountry and up into the exposed alpine, where heavy rain, strong winds, snow, fog, and freezing temperatures are common well into the summer. Make sure you leave a detailed trip plan with a trusted contact. For a quick and easy way to file a trip plan, download the Adventure Smart app at any leading app store. Now, let Adventure Smart guide you through this challenging Maple Ridge Trail. As it takes 10 to 11 hours to complete the Golden Ears Trail, most people camp overnight at either Alder Flats or Panorama Ridge. You can attempt the entire hike in one day if you are a fit, fast, and experienced hiker. But make sure you start right at 7 a.m. when the Golden Ears Park gates open. Look for the trailhead at the West Canyon parking lot and follow the signs for Alder Flats and Golden Ears. This first section takes you on a gentle and relatively flat trail that winds up the Gold Creek Valley for approximately five and a half kilometers to Alder Flats Campground. Just beyond Alder Flats, you will be able to see Panorama Ridge and the summit of Golden Ears. This gives you your first look at what's ahead and makes this a good decision-making point. Take a moment to assess your group's fitness and look to see what the weather and trail conditions are like towards the summit. If the weather looks poor and snow is present, consider turning around at this point. From the Alder Flats campground, the trail climbs steeply towards Panorama Ridge and becomes physically and technically more difficult. Erosion from rain and snow melt has turned this section of the trail into a creek bed with lots of loose rocks and boulders. So take your time and watch your footing, especially on the descent, as twisted ankles are common here. Keep an eye out for the orange trail markers, as just beyond the loose rocks, the trail takes a sharp right turn and heads directly upwards. Stairs and ladders have been installed here to help you. However, you will need to use your hands to scramble over multiple sections of roots and rocks. As you continue up the trail, the trees start to thin, and after approximately 500 meters of elevation gain, you will reach the base of the ridge. From here, follow the obvious trail along the ridge to the top of Panorama Ridge, where you'll get your first views down the valley to Pitt Lake and Golden Ears Summit to your left. This spot is another essential decision-making point. From here, you will be exposed to weather coming from all directions, so check the weather and conditions at the summit. Also, assess your group's fitness, keeping in mind you are not yet halfway. Finally, make sure you have enough water, as water is extremely limited above Alder Flats, and refilling may be impossible, especially in late summer. From here, the trail continues directly up the ridgeline towards the summit. Painted orange markers on the rocks and rock cairns mark the trail. However, when snow is present, they are not visible. There are a few spots along this section of the trail that require you to use your hands to climb up and over technical terrain. Make sure you have good hand and footholds as you climb up. A kilometer from the summit, you'll reach the only designated camping spot on the ridge. This shelter is only for emergencies. Therefore, if you're planning on camping here, make sure you bring a tent. The campground is high on the ridge and temperatures can drop below zero even in the height of summer. 
so make sure you have a warm sleeping bag and clothing for the night. The last section to the Golden Ears Summit commonly holds snow well into the summer, so if snow is present, we recommend micro spikes to help prevent a potentially dangerous slip. The final kilometer of the climb to the summit is also very steep, so you will need to use your hands to climb up exposed rocks. Make sure you check your handholds before pulling yourself up on the loose rocks. Ropes have been installed by members of the public to help you up some sections of the trail here. However, be careful as these are not maintained by BC Parks. At the summit, have some food and water, rest and enjoy the beautiful views of the Lower Mainland and the North Shore Mountains. Remember that this is only the halfway point of your hike, so keep an eye on the time and allow yourself plenty of time and daylight to walk the 12 kilometers all the way to your car or back to your campground. Finally, many online maps show a trail that loops from the southwest summit of Golden Ears to Edge Peak and Blanchard Peak and back to the parking lot. It's important to note that this is an unmaintained rock climbing and mountaineering route that is only recommended for very experienced climbers and mountaineers, not hikers. To climb and repel the many rock formations on this ridge, you would need a rope, traditional rock protection, and alpine rock climbing skills. Although Golden Ears Trail is a popular overnight and day hike, don't underestimate its difficulty. The elevation gain is physically demanding and it takes you deep into the backcountry. Make sure you take the small but necessary pre-trip planning steps. Get the training and take the essential equipment to successfully and safely complete this hike.